Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining us again today. Got a very short video tutorial for you today that will show you how to make a logo in under five minutes. Okay, so we're going to use Canva to do this with, which is a very quick and efficient way of doing any kind of graphic design, really. There's a link in the description for this video, which will take you straight to Canva, where you can log in and try it for absolutely free. So I highly recommend doing that once you're done watching. And... Like I said, it's very simple, very intuitive. You can use it as a mobile app as well. When you log in, you'll get to this page, and then if you hit uh, at the top of the search bar, if you hit the word logo, type that in, you can see that it gives us then 60,000 templates associated with that word, okay? So they're all formatted square, so they'll, they'll sort of take the shape of a standard logo. And then the idea is that you use these uh, suggestions at the top, as well as these categories and filters on the left-hand side to narrow down that search and have a look at something um, which is sort of, you know, closely related to what you're doing. Okay, so find a template which suits your needs, which looks like what you want, and then evolve it and modify it and turn it into yours. Okay, so spend some time doing that. Okay, so there's an extensive range of stuff here. Just make sure that you spend that time finding something for you. Okay, so what you do then is when you find a logo that you like the look of, just give it a click and then hit customize this template here in the top right hand corner there. That then opens the Canva editor where you can drag in elements from the elements library. Um, it's kind of like clip art if you're old enough to remember that one. And you can just literally just, you know, select objects and drag them in, resize them, uh, change the color of them sometimes, replace them. And then if you don't want them anymore, delete them as well like that. Upload your own images from your local drive, as well as add more custom text if what you've got there isn't enough. As you can see then, objects that already exist in the editor, you can see that when you single click them, the toolbar sort of changes what it's got there. So you've got a range then of tools for the text, standard stuff like font, size and colour, as well as some justification. So if, for example, text, you double click it, you can then enter whatever you want as, um, as a replacement for that, as well as this uh, logo down here. For example, and once you've kind of achieved what you need, as, as I said, it's very simple. Just spend a little bit of time getting used to it, really. Um, once you've got the logo that you want, um, hit share in the top right hand corner, then hit download right there. And then that will allow you then to download it as an image file on whatever device that you're using. And you can do so also as a PDF if you need that as well. Okay, so just hit download and that will come down. So like I said, there's an, a link in the description for this video, which will allow you to use Canva now for completely free. And if you've enjoyed the video and you want to see more content of that nature, uh, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any questions or comments or any suggestions or anything like that, uh, leave them as comments down below. Thank you very much.